Hey you guys! Today, we're taking a look at the rising stars of wrestling's all-ego Ethan Page from the incredibly originally named Figures Toy Company, brother! <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. We've got all-ego Ethan Page. How exciting is it to have an action figure of a toy collector himself? At least that's how I initially knew Ethan Page. But between him and Danhausen, I've started to really rediscover pro wrestling. And that's kind of cool. But let's take a look real fast at the packaging. In what is likely to become a rarity in the future, we do have this nice plastic bubble. You get the pro wrestler's name on the side, the title of the series, and you can't forget the company logo on the bottom. And if you flip the package around, you get to see the other wrestlers offered in the Rising Stars of Wrestling line as well as a call-out for their Legends of Wrestling line and other accessories offered by the Figures Toy Company. And if we flip Ethan around again, we can compare him to the World's Greatest Heroes line, also from the Figures Toy Company. As you can see, the packaging is roughly the same size, with the box bumped out a little bit further to accommodate their Mego-style figure like Robin we see here. But enough about packaging, let's open the figure. Well, egomaniacs, we won't waste time looking at accessories because his only one is this soft good hooded vest. So instead, let's jump right to the articulation. The head, it does appear to be a ball joint. Uh, it's loose, it's very loose. That's a shame. Uh, at the shoulder, we do have a ball, bicep twist, single jointed elbow. We do have a pivot at the wrist as well as a twist there as well. Nothing at the chest. The only articulation at the waist is a twist. At the hip, we only have forward and a little tiny bit back. And I do mean just a tiny bit. But there is no thigh cut. Ethan won't be doing the splits. No super kicks. Does have a single jointed knee. Doesn't reach 90 degrees. Forward and back on the ankles. And that's the total of the articulation on this action figure. And that's disappointing for the price and era in which this figure came out. But let's go ahead, compare him to a couple other figures so we can get an idea of his size. And now for scale. On the right, we have the DC Multiverse Superman from Action Comics 1000 Superman, Ethan Page, and then finally, the AEW Orange Cassidy figure. As you can see, Ethan's just a smidge taller than Superman and a whole head taller than Orange Cassidy. The man played by Julian is not likely to fit well with your other wrestling action figures you may have in your collection, which is just a shame. I don't really have a whole lot to say about this comparison, so let's go ahead, get to our final thoughts, and wrap up this review. In the past, I only bought wrestling figures to serve as henchmen, fighting Batman and other superheroes, but I'm pivoting now to buying figures of wrestlers that I enjoy watching on YouTube and just having kind of different antics. So I was very excited to add this Ethan Page figure, but there's not a lot of positives to say. He has a nice soft goods vest that doesn't really match his current wrestling attire. He's got rubber elbow pads and knee pads, and those are nice. And that's it. The head sculpt looks more like it's based on a beach caricature artist's interpretation of Ethan than the man's actual face. The articulation is laughable. All I can hope is that he and other wrestlers like Danhausen soon get AEW action figures from Jazzwares. And until next time, I'm Chris, this is Shiny Plastic People. If you like this video, make sure to hit like. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this action figure in the comments below. And if you want to see further videos from me, make sure to hit subscribe. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I'll check you later.